Hello and welcome back to SketchUp Assist. Today we're going to have a look at tags. Now, tags are there to help you organize objects in your SketchUp model and control their visibility. Uh, consider a scenario in a complex model with dozens or potentially hundreds of objects. As you think about hiding various objects, you're selecting each one, you're right clicking, you're hiding it. That can be very challenging and time consuming. Uh, on the other hand, with tags, you'll see it becomes very efficient. Now, you might ask the question, doesn't it take time to tag objects? And the answer is yes, uh, but SketchUp has made it quite efficient. Uh, so with a little planning and organization on your side, you'll be able to take advantage of the benefits tags offer. So let's start with some basics. Um, let's just uh, create our first tag. Now, keep in mind, I'm on a Mac. So if you're on a PC, you might see some slight differences. Uh, but under the Windows drop down on a Mac, and I believe it's in a, the default tray on a PC, and that's based on SketchUp documentation, uh, you'll find the Tags dialog box. Okay? And we're going to go through these as we use them, so we'll talk about the different things on this dialog box as we go. But let's just start off by creating a tag. And I'm going to create my first tag here, and I'm going to call it uh, Cuboids. Okay? And... I'll go ahead and create a second tab tag and call it cylinders. All right, what I want to do now is if I want to assign these, so now I have two tags created, nothing's been assigned, but I have these two tags available. And then we're going to assign them is we're going to select the tag we want to assign. We're going to click on the tag tool and we're going to go through and click on these. Now you'll notice when we click on them, the lines turn purple. That's indicating that these groups are getting added. Now note these are groups and we'll show you in a, in a few minutes what happens if you don't have a grouped uh, object or a component. Okay, so now we have assigned the cuboid tag to all of the cuboids here and if we come in and select those we can see that we can easily turn those on and off. We can do the same thing with cylinders. We could come in and we can assign each of these and you can see it's very quick, very efficient. Now we have cylinders assigned. Okay, so we've, we've done that. Now, if you notice here, in my cuboids, I have different shapes. And in my cylinders, I have different shapes or maybe different sizes is more accurate. So how would we, how would we handle that? Well, let's look at two things. Let's look at how to handle that. And in, and in that process, let's show you also some more, more advanced features on tags. Uh, this uh, sort of arrow um, little dialog button here um, actually is a, a advanced dialog for um, uh, for the tags dialog box and this allows you to control some of the uh, some other features here and in particular allows you to uh, remove remove tags and so we're going to use the delete tag here uh, the delete tag button and you'll notice what happens okay when we go to delete it it's going to say hey you have that tag in use how do you want to handle the deletion of that tag? Um, so to the uh, objects that are tagged, do you want to assign those to another tag? And if you look in here, you can see there's the only one other tag we have is cylinder. So you would have the option to assign it to other tags. If there, if there were more tags in our dialog box there, you would see more options in this drop down. But in this case, we just want to leave it on tag. You could also choose to delete those entities if you want. Um, but in this case, we're just going to leave it on tag. We're going to go OK. And we're also going to go in and, and, and remove this one. So let's delete this tag and we'll see the same thing here. Okay. Now this time let's do something a little different. Let's create a folder instead. And let's call this cuboids. Okay. And now we want to create a tag called short. And oops, didn't save it. If you mislabel it, you can always come back in double click in and rename it and I'm going to do that on both of these okay and then let's create uh, a second now be careful when you go to create a folder you don't want to create a folder under there so just come back up to the untagged uh, to be safe and we're going to create cylinders okay and we're going to do the same thing here we're going to go short hit enter oops these do have to be unique. So let's just call it short cylinders. And then 
And again, let's see what happens when you do this. If you do accidentally do this, you'll notice that you create a nested tag. Now, what's interesting is there's really no um, delete button for a folder. But if you if you have an empty tag folder that you want to get rid of, if you go explode, uh, that will get rid of it for you. Um, so let's come back in here and let's add one more tag called tall cylinders. And just for consistency, let's come back up here and rename these. And just double click in here and call this tall cuboids. Okay. So now we've created um, you know, four tags uh, two nested under two separate folders. And we want to come in oops, and and assign those. So let's go to our short cuboids first. And let's select our tag. And let's come through and assign these. And again, you can see it's pretty quick. Uh, if you kind of do it as you go, it probably makes life a little easier. Okay, so now we've assigned all those. Let's go ahead and assign our cylinders. So we've got our short cylinders first. Okay, let's do our tall cylinders now. Okay. So now we have assigned everything. And you can see if we come in here, we can turn off subsets of things and likewise with our cylinders. But we can also come in and turn off whole groups, right? So I can click on the cylinder folder, turn that off, click on the cuboid folder and turn that off. Now, um, let's see what happens here um, when I try to assign multiple tags to an object. So it turns out, you know, spoiler alert, you can't. And so let's just come in here and create a test tag and see what happens. So I have a test tag and I'm just randomly going to pick one of these to assign it to. Okay. So this is obviously one of my short cuboids. Um, I've assigned it. So now if I come in and do this experiment, you'll see that if I turn off my sh short cuboids, you'll notice that that one still stays on because it has been assigned to uh, a separate tag. Okay. And so just keep in mind that you can assign objects. You cannot assign objects to, to multiple tags. Okay, one other quick thing to look at. Um, these were all groups. I created these before the video. You didn't see me create these, but um, I just want to show you what happens if you, if you don't create um, a group, the behavior here. And we'll just use our test tag again. Um, if I want to uh, assign this test tag to my new object, oops, Now, if you notice when I clicked on that, it only highlighted that face. And so you can kind of see this by coming in and turning that off. Now, obviously, we still had our, our um, short cuboid that was assigned here, so we'll ignore that. But what we're really focused on is what happens when this is not a group. And so if you want to really uh, assign this entire object, you'll have to go into select mode, select all of it. Then you can come in and assign it. And now you will see that it's it's functional okay now let's say that you decide you don't want some of these folders um, if you come in and uh, explode the, the tag folder it will remove that folder and it will just bring those up to the next level and so these obviously were only nested under a single folder so it brings them back to the top level they still have the same functionality uh, you have just removed them from uh, from the uh, folder they were in and, and effectively remove that folder. Okay. Um, let's look at a couple of other things. Um, let's create a couple of of unused unused tags here. So we just created these tags. They're misspelled <laughs> and not used. So they're both things at once. Uh, let's fix that. Okay, so we just created these two tags. We haven't assigned it. It's pretty clear. We just created them. Now, if you end up with a long list of tags, you know, potentially dozens, if not more, um, and you want to say, well, I don't know what's used or not, I and I've maybe kind of made a little bit of a mess, you can come in and use what's called the purge feature. And the, the purge feature will remove any tags that are not used for you. Um, and so it's a pretty it's a pretty nice feature there to, to take advantage of. Now, last thing we're going to look at is is this color uh, thing. So you'll notice that there are colors. Um, well, I should say last two things. We'll take a quick look at the lines, but um, but let's look at the colors first. Uh, so these colors um, 
can be modified and they can be quickly assigned. And what I mean by that is if I come in and select this and I hit the color tag, um, actually it will do all of them for you, uh, not just the one selected, um, it will assign the colors to, um, to the objects. And so it kind of helps you visually see what's tagged. Now, again, you may want to be careful with that. If you have things that are already colored, you can use, you could lose those colors. Um, but I want to show you one other thing. Let me pull the, the color dialog box in. How do you change these? This is a little tricky at first to kind of see because it's a little subtle. Um, the way you change these, at least on a Mac, it's, it's, um, not completely obvious at first view. Um, so when you click on the color, let me get out of here one more time. So you'll notice I'm going to click into the color uh, square here. The way you change these is you can simply pull up uh, the color box or materials in general. Um, you could assign anything to it. Um, and you come in here and you just select a color that, that assigns that color. And then when you OK that, since we've already applied all the colors, it will apply those colors for you. Again, you could do... Um, number of things maybe let's see let's assign um, okay so you can come in and assign the colors and textures to that to those objects if you want um, and so that could be a nice way if you do have a, a bunch of objects that you have tagged and those tags are kind of tied to the material um, of that object that you can come in and assign those colors so again just select the color come over to the palette whatever it is that you want to use you can kind of do whatever um, and once you select that those will get those will get colored for you uh, the last thing we'll look at uh, don't use this very much but um, you can change the line um, the lines of the and this may be a little hard to see well it turns out it's pretty visible there so you can come in and change the um, the line segment uh, uh, style on on your objects here within a tag um, so that might be something that's that's valuable um, generally i'm not using this it's generally just staying default one other thing we didn't look at it's not such a big deal here but you can f uh, search for tags here um, there are a couple of other um, couple of other things in here where you can uh, control the view um, of the of the sort of list of tags here or select them all if you need to okay that is what you need to know for tags uh, i hope you enjoyed hope you found it useful uh, and if you do find it useful please subscribe thank you